has marinated for almost 24 hours um, in the covered in the refrigerator and I'm going to pull it out before I cook it and let it dry and kind of come up to temperature so I want to let it sit out for at least 30 minutes and what I like to do is just pull it out and place it on a wire rack if you have a wire rack on the plate otherwise just kind of set it over on a plate and you can maybe even blot it off with some paper towels but I just like to let it drip dry so that when I cook it it gets a nice brown sear on it if you have too much moisture and water when you go to to cook it over high heat it's just going to steam and get more gray and not very good so the drier it is and the closer to kind of room temperature it has come the uh, better it'll cook and the uh, more browning it will develop over the heat so I just let the meat sit out kind of blot the surface let it dry for about half an hour before I get ready to cook it um, on the grill or stovetop or even under the broiler but we want to get it nice and dry and let it come up to room temperature before proceeding I have a cast iron griddle pan going over super high heat on my stove it's actually kind of smoking out the kitchen a little bit um, make sure you turn on your hood I can't right now because I need to talk so get your pan nice and hot if you don't have a cast iron skillet no worries just use whatever you've got high heat this has sat out for a couple or about 30 minutes um, it's still a little cool but it's mostly dried and I'm just going to lay it down right on the grill to give a nice sizzle traditionally speaking bulgogi is grilled meat they usually do thinly sliced marinated strips of sirloin but in my take I'm just going to cook off about three minutes on one side, maybe two or three minutes on the other side, and then let it rest for a good five to seven minutes before thinly slicing it and serving with our cauliflower rice. There's the quote. <laughs> All right, so let this go for a little bit. Despite the smokiness, this is going to be delicious. It has seared on the first side, if you can get a load of how nicely marked that is. Uh, meat is done. If you feel it, you can kind of test the um, medium rare to rare. So it didn't quite need two minutes on the other side. Three minutes may have been a bit long on the first side. You just cook it to your liking. But I'm going to go ahead and remove it off to my cutting board. Turn, oops, turn off my flames and cover it loosely with some foil while it sets. So you don't want it to get cold, but you just want the juices to redistribute five minutes, then we can slice into it and serve it over our cauliflower rice, and it will be amazing. After resting for a good five minutes, this meat is ready to slice into really thin little slices against the grain so that it's nice and tender. Got the bulgogi meat all sliced up. I've still got the egg fried rice and this is how I'm going to plate it up. A couple big scoops of our rice. I'm going to lay down a good about four ounces of this meat you can still see it's slightly pink in the middle I like it to be kind of medium rare the marinade uh, did penetrate the meat so it looks a little bit browner but you can tell it's it's still at a good doneness level I actually steamed up a little bit of broccoli as well with some seasoning so again you can never have too many vegetables I'm just gonna toss that right on top there and lastly with Korean food and just um, a good healthy thing to add to your diet fermented foods this is kimchi it's a nice spicy fermented cabbage it's got live and active um, lactobacillus a lot of other good probiotics for your, for your digestive system it's also nice and spicy so this is actually the best accoutrement to add to your dinner so I'm going to have a few big heaping forkfuls to go down right on top of this meal you can pick up kimchi at any Chinese or Asian market in the refrigerated section. I highly recommend 
adding fermented foods if you don't already. And that, oh, and don't forget, that sausage is topped off with a nice big handful of coriander or cilantro. You can just break that down on top right there, and it is ready to go. Delicious.